Just dig a hole in the ground, climb right on down, lay some boards on top of you and sprinkle dirt around. You have to be dead, if you only plan ahead, you'll be glad you kept a shovel on hand. Hello and welcome back to You Don't Have to Be Dead with SRJ26. So we are back and I am going to do something I've never done before, which is I've got four withers worth of skulls and sand here. I'm going to try for the first time to kill two withers consecutively on one set of potions. So I, what I always do is I always kill the wither and then I reset my potion. So I'll get new potions and then I'll go again and I'll get the next wither and it's not hugely difficult. Pardon me while I jump. And this time I'm going to do it just a little different. I'm going to try to do two in a row without resetting my potion uh, enchantment. And we'll see how it works out. I, I'm, I'm a little nervous that it's a terrible idea um, because I think I usually get close to running out. But I'm thinking I might not use the archery this time. I might just try to just use the sword, which is a uh, smite five now, uh, which is better. I am heading off to a location that I have rigged up for this purpose. If we get close enough, you'll be able to see it's the spring. Come on, spring, load, load, load for me. There we go. All right, well, I will save that for later because I want to show you something up there later. Look, an explosion. All right, <laughs> I'll have to fix that later. Let me just drop down here. This is how we get to our stronghold. And I actually need to go down even further. There we go. And I made a little pumpkinlet path so I won't get too lost. And I've got a spot down here. That, now, normally I usually say never, never, never mess around with strongholds, don't make bases out of them, all that good stuff. You must uh, respect the strongholds, and I've broken all the rules. I made a little room here to be able to respawn in, so if the wither kills me, I won't have to come all the way back from uh, my base or from zero, zero or whatever. And I've got some backup weapons and stuff. So uh, if I die, I'll have something to wear. And I could make a full set of diamond, but I figured I'd throw this in here. I'm not going to die. We'll be fine. Nothing nothing bad will happen, right? Uh, let me see. I'll keep these here. And the first one should be easy, I think. I hope. <laughs> so if I die, I'll respawn here. And I'll come back over here and drop down. And I will be right back into the fight. And the first one hopefully will be easy. The second one we'll find out. Uh, the question is, should I melee it or should I? I guess I'll start. Oh, I'm already nervous. This is bad. <laughs> well, bad for me. Hopefully good for you guys. Hopefully this will be entertaining. Um, I've done a lot of things that I, I've, I've you know, purported to be nervous about and actually been a little nervous about, and I wound up being OK. This is not one of those times. This time I actually. I'm a little concerned because it's really dumb to do what there you go okay so we're gonna back up we're gonna we're gonna use arrows and then use the potion and then charge in and then once I kill it put some torches down make the next one and melee the next one so that I can maximize the amount of time because two minutes is not a low oh, minute 30 oh all right we're going to do it. <laughs> We're going to try. We're going to try. We're going to try. Uh, I got potions upstairs, so if, if the you-know-what hits the fan, it won't be too bad, hopefully. Here we go. Yeah, I don't like you either. Back up, back up, back up, back up, and he goes boom. I shouldn't have done that one first. Mm. 
Okay, that's one. Now the next one, let's hope we have enough oomph left in our oomph. And we will see if we can get this one done. Yikes, all right. And we're gonna actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the arrows again. Because really arrows are great for this. You wanna mix it up. Don't go there, yeah, come over here. Oh, don't shoot me in the face. Please die. Whoa, did I get it? Hey, oh, did I get it? Hey, I got it, all right. Rock on. Whew. <laughs> Is that diamonds? Did I get diamonds out of this? Excellent. I bet he destroyed a bunch of diamonds, but I'm not going to complain. Oh, man. All right. Woo, that was fun. And I've got 17 seconds of strength left. I don't think I could pull off three in a row, although I'm tempted now to try. Two in a row on one set of potions is pretty good for me. It's the first time I've done that. I've never done that many before. Usually it's usually it's um, a little bit more careful. I just take it slow when I do one and then I get the potions again and then I go again. That was fun. So uh, the first half of the video did not take too long. That was pretty quick. But I've got something else to show you guys because I like to sort of slam two things into one video. I like to do something interesting and then show you something interesting. So what I've got to show you is all the way back up top. And let me just go out and I'll pop that in there. Hey, look at that. Two nether stars. Isn't that special? Yeah, I'll, I'll leave my stuff over there for now. I've got to find my way all the way up top. This shouldn't be too hard. And I've made some improvements to the structure at the top of our crazy kaleidoscope bizarro um, tower at the top of this uh, stronghold. So way up, way up here. And I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's, it's you know, one of the guys on the server um, was working on stuff. I think it was the Weblords was working on stuff up there, but he sort of did a little bit and then he stopped and then I got a brainstorm. And when I get brainstorms, especially if it's something I'm collaborating other people with, I'm, I'm the worst guy in the world because, oh, I gotta go back. Oh, wait a second. Pardon me, let's go back down. I'm confused. I want to go, I want to go here. Ah, oh, I'm like useless here. <laughs> I think this is the way. I'm just wandering aimlessly at this point. So anyways, if you're on a server with me and you do a collaborative thing, please understand that I'm very bad and you shouldn't do collaborative things with me because I will sometimes just jump in and take the reins and do cool stuff. And if you're not on, I'm just going to do it anyway because in this case, it's my server. I'm running the server. I don't feel too bad. I think think he'll forgive me, especially when he sees what I did. So we are going to go all the way up top and I will spare you the walk. I will see you when we get there. We're actually halfway up and I'm going to stop in here to confirm that my wonderful redstone is indeed all screwy because this happens all the time with this redstone. It's really frustrating. And I will put it down again and then we will press the restart. But before I press the restart, We've got more command blocks. You wouldn't know this because you don't know what you're looking at, probably. But if you see this bit here, it didn't used to have command blocks along it. And those command blocks do something cool. So we will restart it. And you'll see the cycle starts again. You can tell by the colors changing. And let's go back up and see what there is. Oh, before we get up there, look at this room. It's kind of crazy and weird. What could this be? What does this mean? What does it mean? Can you guess? Probably, but uh, I'm not going to tell you. Let's go up and see. Just take a minute. All right, so we are back up at the top. And let's go out and see if you can see what I did from out here. We've got the sun going down soon, so maybe I'll get a nice time-lapse shot of the sunset with the with the uh, tower in the background. So there's the tower. And if we look up, it's candles. I made candles. 
and they're moving. They're flickering with reckless abandon. So yeah, that's what I did. I sort of finished the top up there. I'll go up and show you. I pulled out all the dirt that was clogging up the tower. I don't even know why I left it there for a while, but it is gone. The tower is looking much better. I don't know if I'll bother putting rooms in it or anything. Half the time now, you know, you, you make these things and they're just cool structures. It's like architecture, but anything really, really cool is going to be so big that you can't really live in it. It's just too huge. Um, I could live in this, but I've already got a home. But I wanted to build something. You know how it is. So this is what I did up here. I sort of finished and lined the top and sort of made it nice. And then I lined these holes so that it would have more of a finished look. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys will like it. I don't know. And as you see, you can watch the flame here and it's constantly changing. And what it's doing is it's cloning the flame animation frames, for lack of a better word, from downstairs from that room that I showed you before. And it's cloning those flame bits, those three by four bits into place right up there. And it's just going and doing each one. So there's 32 separate uh, clones for eight total candle flames with four animation frames per candle flame. And that's why half of them were one way and half of them were the other way because I had to be able to do both because it can't rotate them. So let's go up and fly. Aim mode one. And let's just give this a little, uh, whoa, not that. That's what we want. All right. Let's just let this go and uh, see how it looks sped up. So that's what I got for you today. We've got a, an update on the tower and we killed two withers in one set of potions, which is new for me. I've never done that before. And yeah, we've got two more wither skulls to do. I don't know how I'm going to do them yet, but you can leave suggestions below if you want to. And then we'll have all 16 beacons for this tower, plus the one in the middle. And then we'll be, I guess, I don't know, ready to figure something else out to do. We're going to reset the server. We've got a date now. It's going to be on June 25th, which will be six months from last Christmas. And will leave us with a nice six-month cycle until next Christmas. So we will be resetting twice a year. And the next one, of course, will be Blue Vanilla. After that, hopefully we'll be playing 1.9 if uh, Mojang gets its butt together and gets its act together and, um, and gets 1.9 out. So cross your fingers and hope I can make lots of more cool stuff for the Blue Vanilla update. And I'll have videos to show you how to install it and all that good stuff. But we're looking at, what, three weeks now before we do that? And that'll be fun and exciting with a whole new world for us to all play in. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Hear so many rumors, sometimes you get confused. But I read it in Time magazine, and I heard it on the news.